Although Don Denver knew this moment would come one day, he suddenly felt unprepared. It all started two Halloweens earlier. Donald was a relationship expert working on a self-help book about building successful love lives. Unfortunately, Donald was better at writing about love than finding it. Having no other plans that evening, he decided to go to a friend's costume party. Do you, uh, do you uh, mind if I sit down here? I just had to come in here and get away from everyone, and I don't really know anyone here. I don't really either, but I'm Elizabeth. Donnie. Hi. Good to meet you. So where's your costume? <laughs> yeah, I didn't really. <laughs> Elizabeth and Donald spent the next few hours getting to know each other. <laughs> and I, I really like the whole vampire thing. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cute. Oh, well, I didn't put much effort into it. And the fake blood looks great. Oh, right, the fake blood. Donald and Elizabeth talked all night long and found that they had a lot in common. They got along so well that they started dating. Things were looking up and Donald's self-help book was published locally. There was only one problem. Elizabeth had a secret. A secret that would only be revealed one year later. So they got in a car accident and while the boyfriend was alright, the girl ended up paralyzed. What did the boyfriend do? Did he leave her? Well, that's the thing. They managed to stay together. Even though there's this big obstacle in the way, they made the relationship work. The story inspired my new book. That's amazing. So then what would you do? I mean, if I had some sort of condition. Well, of course I'd stay with you. I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't. Then we need to talk. Over the next few hours, Elizabeth explained her situation. At first, Donald thought she was joking. But soon, he stopped laughing. We can make this work. You know, I, I have my problems too. Sometimes I'm a little neurotic, and you, once a year on Halloween, uh, you turn into a vampire. Are you sure you're not mad? Well, I'm a little disoriented, but, but I'm confident we can make this work. Donald was not confident, but he knew it would be hypocritical to leave her. So you're a vampire. Uh, you drink blood. Do you, do you drink blood? Listen, if this is going to be a problem, we should just end this now. Well, what if we try setting some ground rules? Like, uh, you, you can't bite me, and you can't bite anyone I know. Of course not. I only bite strangers. Nobody's. And, and, it, and it only happens on Halloween, right? Yeah, only once a year. See, I knew we could make this work. Oh, uh, those are teeth. Wow. Good. Listen, I don't want to butt into your business or anything, but... This Elizabeth girl, she gives me kind of a bad vibe. Come on, Brian. Her and I have been dating for a year already. Not like we have any secrets. I don't know, man. You gotta watch out for some of these girls. They're man-eaters. Brian hasn't liked me since the day he met me. That's not true. You're my friend, he's my friend. I bet you can both be friends. Then why doesn't he like me? Well, he said something about a, a bad vibe. Maybe the vampire thing? What has that got to do with anything? You know, I've been thinking about this, and with modern medicine, I, I bet there's a cure for vampirism. Oh, so this is a disease now? There's something wrong with me? Well, that's not what I meant. This is the old story, isn't it? You're perfect in every way, but now change? Is that it? Donald was trapped in a corner, so he decided to drop the argument. And although the subject hardly came up in conversation anymore, Donald made sure to take some extra precautions. Elizabeth was getting ready to go out that evening. Don was nervous, but per their agreement, he wasn't going to ask any questions. Hey buddy, thought we'd hang out and watch scary movies like we used to. So I think I'm actually gonna stay in tonight. But honey, I thought you were gonna go out tonight. Oh no, I'm gonna stay in. This is a good chance for Brian and I to get closer. Man, I love Halloween. I feel like nothing bad can happen. Ow! I just cut myself. Oh, look at all this blood. Oh, hey. Do you want one? 
You know, I'm really glad that you and Don are together. You seem like a really nice person. Ellie, don't. Ellie, I never wanted to have to use these, but I need you to back away from my friend. Is that garlic? Donnie, we had garlic in our dinner. What would this solve? Just because you two don't get along doesn't mean you can kill him. You can't eat all your problems away. This is all about you not accepting who I am. Cupcake, I'm trying, but you can't eat my best friend. This is who I am, Donnie. I told you this would never work. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come here. I guess I just take for granted how hard you do try to make this work. And I take for granted how hard it is to be a vampire. I know this is going to be difficult, but I think we can make this work. Even though there was a big obstacle in the way, Donald and Elizabeth decided to give the relationship another shot. Donald found himself using his experiences to write his new book. The book was only a minor success.